What is up, scoundrels? This is your man Clash coming to you with a new video, a defensive comp with Stormtrooper Han at Relic 7. Yes, I know I love my scoundrels and I love relics on them. This is going to be fresh crafts with Clash. I really can't say that too many times fast, but that's what we're going to call it. Uh, this is a comp that I've been working on for a while now. It's done really well. I've, I've put it in defense six times. It held five. It's, of course, got Watt in there and CLS as the leader. A lot of the footage that you're going to see in this video is going to be at a lower gear level without a Zeta on Commander Luke Skywalker. But really, I think you're going to get a really good understanding of the theory in terms of why this is working so well. And it all, of course, starts with Stormtrooper Han. He is incredibly durable at Relic 7. 115k protection I've got on him. With the Zeta, he's restoring 5% of that every time he's hit, assuming he's not uh, it got some sort of a healing immunity on him. But he's also just not taking a lot of damage. 70% armor, 65% special resistance, and he dodges almost 18% of the time. When he taunts on his own, he gets uh, the, of course, turn meter gain, but the taunt that comes from the tank tech for Watt, that doesn't apply uh, to him, unfortunately. However, whenever he's counterattacking with this basic, he does get a uh, turn meter there, which allows him to, of course, clear a bunch of debuffs. And if you look at his unique, uh, this was actually pretty useful because originally I thought it wasn't going to be that great. However, 25% of the time, I have a really low potency. He has a chance to uh, remove turn meter. And if he doesn't, that is actually going to buff all of the uh, rebels with 5% turn meter because I finally found a reason to put a Zeta on Commander Luke Skywalker after three years of not having one on him. His leader, of course, not only on top of the defense that he gets, he gets counterattack, he gets the offense, but he also gives everyone 5% chance anytime someone resists a detrimental effect. And for Stormtrooper Han, that resisted turn meter removal definitely applies. And so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do this video a little bit differently. Instead of speed running you through all the testing that I've done, I've laid it all out there. That way you can uh, look at the comps. You want to see how it did. Admittedly, none of these are perfect. These are all, uh, some of these are more gear 12. Some of these are gear 13, like the, the clone troopers that you'll see first. However, I don't have a test account. So I'm doing as, as best I can to get you as much good footage as I can. That coupled with the Grand Arena success that I've had, hopefully if you're out there and you've got a Stormtrooper Han that you put a Zeta on a long time ago and you're looking for a good reason or good use for it, this might be the time to, to actually put some gear on them as well. It is one of those things that's sneaky. It's found a lot of my opponents uh, uh, caught off guard, and uh, it's one that I'm definitely recommending at this point. Uh, if you have more questions, please, of course, join us in the Scoundrel Discord server. And if you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoy the content. Other than that, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks, everyone.